Hello farmers and uh, our dear viewers. Uh, today I want to speak uh, something about uh, uh, breeding bugs and uh, why they are expensive, uh, but also how you can uh, uh, work along with them to recover your money uh, once uh, you buy a good breeding bug, such as these, these ones that we have here at BK Farm that were supplied by Minit Farms. So, uh, of course, we have had very many complaints from farmers uh, complaining bucks are expensive and we do not have this whole money to buy a buck because a good buck will go for not more than, not, not less than 1M, which is uh, really quite uh, expensive. But uh, just to make business out of this buck, uh, because a buck, explains your entire flock. When you do not have a good buck, the offsprings will as well not be very good. Uh, as you can see, this buck is just tending to two years, uh, but you can see the size. That means the offsprings that it will sire will be uh, also maturing very fast, and uh, you'll be able to get uh, the, the money out very fast. So we give uh, a ratio of one buck to uh, 25 to 40 does, uh, which is uh, uh, something good if you have uh, one buck and you do not have enough resources to buy crosses you can buy one buck and you buy uh, the local breeds uh, from uh, uh, a credible breeder because you also don't advise that you buy from markets because they have rejects so when you buy such a breed and you cross it with your locals uh, you'll be able to have offsprings that are half the percentage of uh, uh, this uh, buck, for instance, uh, this buck is uh, about 93.5 percent. So if you cross it, uh, you will have uh, uh, offsprings of about uh, 45. If you are crossing with the locals, but if you are crossing with uh, with uh, 75, with 87.5, uh, the percentage will be increasing. And uh, this is good for you because uh, you will not sell the crosses that come out of this goat, uh, not less than 400,000. Uh, so, which is, and this will be after about eight to one year uh, of you feeding the goat, which is something really lucrative, uh, considering uh, the maturity uh, rates uh, of our local breeds, because you'll only sell a local breed at about 200, 250, after three, after four years, uh, which is uh, really something that takes a long time. But if you have a good buck and you have uh, good locals, uh, you'll be able to make business out of uh, good farming. I implore you uh, to look for good bucks if you are starting a farm, uh, at least as a bare minimum, uh, to cross with any other uh, female or does that you may have so that at least the offsprings can make business sense uh, to your farms. I thank you for listening and I encourage you to contact us in case you need uh, good bucks such as this. We have uh, at our farms, but also at our partner farms that are over 150 to date. Uh, so we can supply you with good breeds that are traceable, uh, that also have uh, a record, record track, and you can be able to uh, see uh, the uh, history of your God and what you are taking uh, as well. So thank you so much for listening and good time.